Welcome. This video will be all about the upcoming cars in 2021 and 2022. I made this video because of the vast majority of the cars that are coming in the next two years. But this video will be dedicated to the JDM cars or the Japanese domestic market cars. Let us start with my least favorite to my most favorite. And this list will be only for the production sure cars, not the concept cars. Starting off with the Honda S660 or for the car enthusiasts, the baby NSX. This car is often called as a K car because it has a very small engine and weighs really less compared to today's safety standards. This car is produced by Honda for one reason, that is to give everyone who purchases the car as much fun the racetrack and the streets as possible. It has around 660cc and which produces 70 bhp that is enough to send the car from 0 to 60 in 9 seconds. Let us go to the next one which is the Toyota GR Yaris. It is regarded as one of the most fun and a very fast rally car currently available. As you have seen in Shmi's newest purchase that it is a really fun car. It has Toyota's newest and the greatest three-cylinder engine which produces 257 bhp and has the most sophisticated all-wheel drive system ever put on a hot hatch. Up, the 2022 Subaru BRZ. As we know that the Toyota and Subaru tie-up is a big success because of the Subaru BRZ and the Toyota 86. But in my case, I'm not a big fan of those cars because those cars were very underpowered and didn't have much room in the rear. But the next model year, they come back with a totally redesigned model with more power to be exact 300 bhp which is the 30 bhp increase on their naturally aspirated flat 4 from Subaru. Now for the most hyped car of 2019, the Toyota GR Supra, which I am now a big fan of because of the newly upgraded engine and the slightly tweaked suspension. That is all good, but it has a big problem. In my opinion, it leaves the fact that it is another BMW with another body, and to be exact, the BMW Z4, which I hate.
Now the most anticipated car and my favorite car on this list is the Nissan Z Proto or the Nissan Z400 and to be frank if I have the chance I would choose the Nissan Z400 above the Supra. That's because the Nissan maybe will have more power or the same but the hit points that the Nissan will be more likely to be bought is the transmission. It is a 6 speed manual gearbox which was expected in the Supra but didn't come. So thanks for watching and please subscribe.